Hi YouTubers, Miggy Mae here again. Just like to tell you a wee story. Today is the 9th of August. Now, today three years ago my dad passed away. Well actually the night at about half past 11, quarter to 12. Anyway, a wee story I wanted to tell you. I'm feeling quite kind of, I don't know, I've been thinking about him all day so I'm feeling a wee bit sort of down today. But anyway, we story, mum and myself and my sister were all having a blather the day about dad, of course, as always, um, he's well missed. Anyway, um, my mother was telling me a wee story about when she was a wee girl, maybe about 10, and she had lots of brothers, and they were always out looking for rabbits, and my uncle John in particular had a wee whippet, and its name was Nick. Well, he used to go for the rabbits because my great grandmother would, um, you know, cook rabbit stew and things like that. And the days you did, it was just like chicken, I suppose. Anyway, off they went. And as they're walking some back road somewhere, my uncle John sat down to light his pipe, and the dog was obviously playing about my mother and that. And my uncle John heard a horse and cart coming towards them on the, the back road. So he says to my mother, um, Beth, come off the road, come over and sit here, the new, bring the dog away. So she went over to him and they waited because my, be, be new, my mother could hear the horse and carriage coming, or horse and cart or whatever. And the horse and cart was coming obviously towards them and it was dark and it passed right past them right past them and they never saw a thing not a thing and my mother says when she was telling me that story today she says I got a cold shiver every time I think about it because John made out that oh it did go past us aye oh it was a big one aye it was a big one but she says we never we never seen anything and when they went back home and they told the mother, my grandmother, what had happened, she went kind of quite arching faced, my mother said, because apparently somebody had lost their life down there like maybe 10 years earlier. But unbeknownst to my mother and my uncle John, uh, after it was somebody day with a horse and cart, had gone over the girl and had killed her and broke her neck. But my mum said, you know, my mum doesn't believe in anything like this, but she says that is one story that stuck with me because she says, John said to me, come on Beth, come back off the the road and let the horse and cart go by. And it trotted past and not one of them saw a thing, not even the dog. Now, that's something like that happening would really make the hair in your neck stand on end. But there's lots of other wee bits and bobs. What I'm actually doing the day is, because this is three years from my dad's passing, I'm going to have a wee sort of talk with him in the night. And what I'm going to do is, I'm going to leave my camera on for an hour. I'm going to leave some objects in front of the camera. And hopefully, if I can communicate with him in some way, as he, as he talks to me through teacups, and, I, and I've told you this before, Occasionally I'll get a feeling and I'll take my teacup through, turn it upside down, circle it three times and then have a look. And in the last twice or three times, it's been right. As you know, because I've told the story about what happened before, this is actually his bracelet that I, that I wore. He left me this gold bracelet and I love it. I mean, I don't take it off my, my arm. Anyway, um, that's all I have got just now and that was just the story of the horse and cart that went past and was near there. So there you go, that was a wee story and hopefully I'll get back to you tonight. I'm a wee bit kind of subdued the day just because of what day it is and I'll speak to you real soon. Okay, take care. Thanks. Bye-bye.